Hey all coming to you from international headquarters of Scotty DTV, but I was at the 2019 Detroit Auto Rama and I came across a 1934 Lincoln pickup truck I think y'all are gonna like. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. I'm a fan of this 1934 Lincoln pickup truck. If they even made them, I don't know if they made them or not. I know it says that's what it is, but it could be like their interpretation of what a Ford would have been. I don't know. You know me, I don't know nothing but cool. And you have to admit, Instigator, the 1934 Lincoln pickup truck, is very cool. I dig the wire wheels, I like the no fenders, and that I'm just absolutely in love with. All that exposed suspension work, that fuel tank, Instead of it being a liability, they turned it into an asset. I love that. I love the rivets. I love the satin finish. I'm just a fan of all that back there. Very cool. I love the aluminum and the copper. It's cool with lights on, lights off. Man, that is just, what, like steampunk, right? I don't know. It's cool, though. A lot of work, a lot of metal work. You can't see any of it. Well, I mean, you can see all of it, but you can't see where they did the work at, right? I dig it. I like the wood floor in there. I like it. I like the door panels. The lights on it. It looks crazy cool. That's just, I don't know, I don't know, I mean, it, you know, you can get different, but do you get cooler? You get to a certain level where it's just like, yeah, that's right, y'all nailed that one. And I think that, uh, I think that's the case in this one here. Nicely paneled up underneath. I mean, it's one of those, one of those builds that's really deceiving, you know, because it looks really simple until you look at it really close. And it's not simple, it's a lot of work. A lot of detail work. I like how the the headlights match the grill. It's a custom mix paint with a satin finish. From what I understand. I just really I really dig that interior. Just a little bit of padding, you know. Not a headliner, it's all metal up there. Aluminum and copper. That is cool. I wish I had shot it while it was still sitting on the ground. It's got a 292 Y block with a uh, very rare sneaky peak blower on it. I'm repeating that, I don't know. But again, very nice job. It's cool that it's not a Chevrolet small block, right? I like the uh, scoop on top of it. It's like two two barrels, maybe. It's one of those ones that's over the top, but it's not in your face. I mean, just to, you know, I, I say it takes talent, taste, and cash to make a build happen. And obviously, all three of them came together on this one. Because I'm a fan. I think that is just, that is just cool. And I think it'll be cool now. And I think it'll be cool 10 years from now. I think it would have been cool 20 years ago. It's just one of those timeless type builds. And like I said, it looked the interior looks so different when it's lit up versus when it's not lit up. And I like both versions of it, but I'm trying not to get the shadows in there, but show you. Because that copper really pops when it's under the lights. Man, a lot. Look at that gear shift with the microphone on top of it. Come down. I like the Lincoln emblem in the back that's done in copper, it's inline. I just love that whole the whole tailgate is very cool. The colors chose. Like the exhaust coming out the middle. 
nicely paneled up with that Lincoln emblem underneath there. Oh, awesome job, guys. Very cool for sure. And a little uh, light reading for y'all. That's where I got my information from. That's cool too. The whole display was cool. The truck was cool. The display was cool. The 2019 Detroit Auto Rama was definitely cool. If you didn't make it, make sure you get out there next year. It's been happening for like 50 some years. You got to get battle the cold, but it's usually worth it. It was worth it to see this one, that's for sure. So there you go from the 2019 Detroit Auto Rama 1934 Lincoln pickup truck instigator. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.